morning and welcome. We're all very welcome to this our fourth storm mass here in Burishul Abbey. What a beautiful morning it is. After four years at last we've got here fine weather. So we might just begin with our opening hymn. these last three days we have been telling the story of Jesus' suffering, of his death, of his lying in the tomb. And last night we remembered his resurrection. We have told our story. We are followers of Jesus Christ. On Thursday we remembered and celebrated his life. A life of love, a life of service, a life which is encapsulated in the simple, humble, and yet profound act of the washing of feet, washing of the feet of those who would follow him, a life to which each of us are called. We are followers of Jesus Christ. On Friday, Good Friday, we recalled his death. We walked with him as he carried the cross, our cross up that pitiless hill. In his horrendous suffering, we are reminded of the depth of his love for each of us, with his mother and those frightened followers huddled in the shadows. We stood in silence and we remembered that broken body being placed in a borrowed tomb. We are followers of Jesus Christ. His story, our story, doesn't end in that tomb. Last night, we celebrated the great mystery of our faith. The tomb is empty. Jesus is alive and lives amongst us. Had the story ended on that Good Friday, we would not be here at this ungodly hour. It would have been just a story, a sad but all too common story of a man who lived a good life and who tried to make a difference. But we are followers of Jesus Christ. Experts tell us that the Gospel of Mark, the first Gospel to be written, had two endings. The first ends with the women leaving the empty tomb. They came out and ran away from the tomb because they were frightened out of their wits. And they said nothing to anybody because they were afraid. But that's not the ending we have. The story didn't end there. We are here this morning because they did tell. Their faith, our faith, isn't in an empty tomb but is in the risen Jesus. Last night's vigil began with the lighting of a fire. That small fire, small and all as it was, symbolizes the faith of our people, the faith of the people of this parish who have gathered around this table for hundreds of years to celebrate Jesus' presence amongst us. It is the fire of victory and hope. It is a sign to all who pass that gathered here today are followers of Jesus Christ. As a church, we have sometimes failed. We have too often failed. We have met our disappointments. We have experienced betrayal and hurt. 
Our future today sometimes seems uncertain, but we need not be afraid. Let the fire of his presence burn deeply within each of us. Let our lives shine brightly as a sign to the world that Jesus lives. We are followers of Jesus Christ. And so this morning, as followers of Jesus Christ, we place our prayer for the altar. We pray for this believing community, for all who have gathered here this morning, that the faith in which we gather may continue to nourish and sustain us on good days and bad, in days of darkness and also in days of light. We pray that we may bring God's presence to our world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember all who, from, who are from our parish who are scattered throughout the world, who this morning will wake up in foreign lands and think of home. Our hearts are with them as their hearts are with us. We pray God's blessing on them and pray that they may be safe. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We pray for the people, the first people to come to our parish to bring the faith. We remember the Dominican community who gathered here all those years ago, keeping the light of faith alive. We pray for the priests who ministered to us throughout the years we've been here. We might remember especially this morning Father Declan, Father Nigel and Canon Eamon. We thank God for the gift of priesthood. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the sick. We remember those in hospital this morning, those who care for them, those who are concerned for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we celebrate our young people. We ask God's blessing on them. We thank God for their courage, for their faith, for their challenge. We pray that our world may continue to honor them and that they may become the people that God would love them to be. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Remember our dead. Remember those around whom we gather this morning. And remember those who may have been with us last year and are no longer with us now. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We bring these and all our prayers before the altar as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 